Hello and very happy International Literacy Day. I am Professor Opal Palmer Adisa and I want to start off by correcting an error which we will find in the dictionary which defines Creole as a mixture between Europeans and black people. There are no black people, there are African people, so that needs to be corrected. But Creole is really referring to our mother tongue. In Jamaica, we erroneously say patwa. I rather prefer Kamaz Brathwaite's um, description as nation language because we have a nation language. And Creole is a mixture of any two languages. And in fact, there are very few languages that are not a mixture, including English, which borrows from many languages. But I want to speak specifically to us as a people in the Caribbean who has been contesting our mother tongue and why it is important that we, in fact, implement, introduce, and legalize, nationalize the Jamaican nation tongue. The majority of people in the Caribbean, and specifically in Jamaica, speak their mother tongue, which is not English. It is a mixture of Twi, a Shanty language, because the majority of people in, the, uh, in Jamaica came from Ghana, and English, with some um, Spanish words and other words mixed in. But what we speak is Jamaican. Nam, Goe, Uno, those are all Jamaican words which have their roots in the Twi language from the Akan people. And it is important that we accept and respect this language because first of all, we all should be multilingual. Many people in Africa, when I visited them, spoke five languages there. You know, the various native languages are, are languages from their villages and then the language that their country speaks. South Africa very brilliantly has nationalized five languages. So for us in Jamaica to nationalize Creole, as well as English, is in fact in keeping with a much more uh, broad-minded awareness of language and its importance. In language is our cosmology, how we think, how we feel, how we look and interpret the world. And if we deny that basic cosmology, the essence of who we are, we are denying a person's essence. And while it is important and we want to ensure that all Jamaicans speak English, we also want them to feel proud and know and understand that the language that they speak, the Jamaican nation language, is a language with a set of rules, with a dictionary, and with a way to express the wide range of emotions that we feel. So I really want to advocate that our prime minister and our government institutionalize Jamaican nation language and make it one of two languages in Jamaica. Because I know that it is a sense of pride, it is the root of pride, that if we begin to read and speak and write the nation language side by side with English, which is already official language, that will empower us to understand that our culture and who we are with our African roots are important. So... I'm very happy for this opportunity on International Literacy Day to advocate for Jamaican nation language. As so we go, as who we are, on a live long, on a love long.